on the screen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Hampton, stuck the contract. I think just me, which means we have two recordings on the way. Yeah, just slide down. Any other way? Back for the first time since 2020, it's the Trinity Bell. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let us pray. <laughs> Jesus, bread of life, you have set this table with your very self and called us to the feast of plenty. Gather what has been sown among us and strengthen us in this meal. Make us to be what we receive here, your body for the life of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I think we still need the ushers to bring forward some of the communion elements. So I'll set the table. I invite you to stand as you are able for the meal. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, Almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth, and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Now and forever. Amen. 
Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Jesus, bread of life, we have received from your table more than we could ever ask. As you have nourished us in this meal, now strengthen us to love the world with your own life. In your name we pray. Amen. I invite you all to receive this blessing. The blessing of God, the 
provides for us, feeds us, and journeys with us be upon you now and forever. Amen. I'll start with a couple announcements. Uh, Debbie mentioned during the prayers that we are still interviewing for two staff positions. If you've read this week's announcements, then you know that we have made one appointment to our staff. Alyssa Hoffman is joining us as our Minister of Communications, and she's going to be primarily responsible for our digital media and newsletters and things like that. So things that go out to you in the congregation and also helping us expand our outreach, particularly in the digital space. Um, so that more people can be uh, touched by the ministry of Holy Trinity and feel like they're a part of our community, even if they're participating from a distance. Uh, Alyssa will be in the office Wednesday for her first day, uh, and we hope that you'll welcome her if you have a chance to see her around. Um, the other two positions are still in process. Uh, we're feeling cautiously optimistic, but we're not ready to make any announcements yet. So. Thank you all for your prayers as we go through that process. Uh, any other announcements? Yes, Saturday, this Saturday, the 23rd. Please join us here at 9 a.m. Can you not hear me? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Um, 9 a.m. this Saturday, the 21st, we have a work day here, not just for the kids, but for everyone. So please come because many hands make light work and Shouldn't take us too long. I think Debbie's got something for us. Oh, well, you're walking like you do. You can say it. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, yes, okay. No, go ahead. You're already most of the way there. Um, I just wanted to remind, I guess, let you know that there was a letter that went out this week from myself and Pastor Council is continuously reviewing the mask policy and the status of COVID in the area. Right now, we're not making any changes in our mask policy. We you do not, masks are optional. We're completely um, vaccinated. We do recommend that you wear them while you're singing. And masks are for the purpose of protecting your neighbors. So I just want you guys all to think about that and make decisions as you see fit for your own health and for the health and safety of your neighbors. Thank you. Any other announcements? And if you didn't see that note, let Dale know. Get you. Get you. Yes, there's a quickie. Mark your calendars. October 10th is Crumble. Oh, we hear from Crop Walk October 10th. Peggy's going to be on us to participate and sponsor walkers and runners and whoever else wants to do. Anything related to that. Thank you, thank you. Basically, I want your money. Well, <laughs> she wants your money. Okay, anyone else? Okay, seeing no other announcements, uh, our second hymn is Give Thanks, and I believe the words will be on the screen.
believers in Jesus Christ who witness our faith by serving together, praying together, and living generously together. Go in peace, you are the body of Christ. Thanks be to God.